Yeah, we've had heat so far this season, Ben. We've had humidity, but to put the high heat and humidity together, that's something that we haven't seen yet so far this summer, but, you know, we usually get at some point, right? The National Weather Service just minutes ago issued a heat advisory for Fairfield and for New Haven counties. Does that mean that it's going to be hotter in those two counties than the rest of the state? No, there's different National Weather Service offices that cover different parts of Connecticut, so sometimes they argue about whether or not we reach, you know, the technical heat wave criteria, which is it feels like 100 degrees for the heat index. But I think as we head through the day tomorrow, it will be more humid in southern Connecticut. So that might be one of the reasons why it's just in effect there. Look, we're all going to be sweating heading into this weekend. Starting tomorrow, temperatures climbing into the 90s. But the hottest stuff is going to be Sunday and Monday. That's when it's not only hot, but temperatures soaring well into the 90s. But it's also going to be exceptionally humid, almost just tropical out there. And I wanted to show you the overall big picture here so you can see the uh, kind of light at the end of the tunnel. By Wednesday, we break the heat wave, but it's still going to be warm to hot as we head right through most of next week, too. Not quite record setting heat. We're going to get close, though, on Sunday, just a few degrees shy of the record on Bridgeport and Hartford. We're forecasting high temperature a few degrees shy of the record. So it's possible that we get there. We just need a nudge of maybe a few degrees. That's it. 75 right now in Hartford. Totally different story. You would never know it's going to be hot out there uh, heading through the day tomorrow. Mid 70s right now in New Haven. And it's starting to see some sunshine begin to break out for parts of western Connecticut. So I do think that we start to get a little bit brighter here to finish off the day heading into the weekend after a cloudy kind of damp and misty day. I don't know about you. It was kind of nice out there, though, to just kind of enjoy, uh, do some yard work, whatever you had to do. Go for I went for a nice long walk. Mostly cloudy skies tonight, warm, muggy with temperatures in the 60s. Heading through the day tomorrow, we start off in the 60s to around 70 degrees. By lunchtime, we're close to the 90 degree mark, and I think we'll see high temperatures climb into the lower to potentially middle 90s, upper 80s for the Connecticut shoreline. If you are making it a beach day tomorrow, yeah, go for it. Probably just going to have to reserve your spot early, I think. I see in my crystal ball lots of early or closings of beaches because they're going to be at capacity. Water temperature in the low to mid 70s, waves one foot or less. And for Sunday, even hotter and even more humid, high temperatures in the low to mid 90s. We even get to 90 degrees at the Connecticut shoreline, but it will feel like near 100 as we head through the afternoon. And that will be a similar scenario for Monday too, when we see heat indices peaking beyond triple digits. So those are going to be the days that you're going to need to remind yourself just to take care of yourself a little bit. Heading through Monday afternoon, we'll see a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. Think Florida weather. Tuesday, we get a break with another chance for scattered showers and storms Wednesday and Thursday. And yes, we break the heat wave, but just barely. And then we're right back up around 90 degrees on this day next week. Your shoreline seven day near 90 degrees Sunday, Monday. If we get there for Bridgeport on Saturday, we might even get our first heat wave of the season for the shoreline too. Rachel, thank